Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, so today I thought I'd do a video about depression and anxiety um, and how it affects me on a daily basis um, and also tell you a little bit about how it's affected me in the past and how I've gone through that and also some of my triggers um, and also some tips on how I deal with it. So if you want to find out more, please keep watching. So um, for me, I kind, it kind of started when I was about 18. Um, I had my daughter and I had some postnatal depression afterwards. Um, I felt that I wasn't good enough to be a mum. I didn't feel that I was able to cope to look after her. Um, I didn't think that I was fit enough to be looking after a child um, and I felt really really low and isolated and alone um, so I went to the GP and they just kind of said you know it's fine it's just hormones it will pass um, it gave me some tablets to take and that was it really um, and then as I got older I just kind of plodded along through life um, still struggling a little bit but not as bad as sort of I had been in the past um, when I first had my daughter. So yeah it was about three years ago um, I had a sudden um, episode where I felt really really isolated, really really low and down. Um, I had no motivation to do anything whatsoever. Um, I found it difficult to look after my daughter found it difficult to go to work, um, just normal everyday things and I was crying a lot and just felt really really low so I didn't really know what to say to anybody, I didn't know how to go to someone and get help, um, I felt really embarrassed um, so I wrote everything down on a piece of paper and I went to the doctor and I gave it to them and I just burst into tears and I said, look, I'm really embarrassed. I don't know what to say, so I wrote it all down for you. Um, and I was referred to the community mental health team and I had lots of therapy, um, lots of talking, different medication, and it really, really helped. Um, and then as the months went on, um, I was having things like cognitive behavioural therapy um, to try and find some of the triggers and try and deal with those triggers um, and that was really really helpful. Um, so it was a good couple of years of help, um, therapy and talking and appointments but I came out the other side and I had a lot of issues after that that I managed to like get through without having a breakdown um, until recently which things have started up again um, so from October I've had the same sort of issues no motivation feeling really low feeling really upset not being able to go to work um, not being able to look after my daughter properly or even myself and I've been having panic attacks as well so I haven't been able I wasn't able to leave the house um, and wasn't able to go out on my own um, it was really awful to not understand why this is happening um, and at the time it's difficult to kind of pinpoint okay so this is the reason why I'm having this panic attack so next time I know that this is what I need to do at that moment you don't think about that you don't realize that you just sort of end up in this big spiral of being anxious and worked up um, but now that it's sort of a couple of months down the line and I've had medication I'm still on medication um, and I'm getting help things are starting to improve slowly um, but I just thought I would do this video to kind of speak about my story just kind of make people realize that 
it's not something to be ashamed of. Um, it's something that many other people are going through um, and I'm sure quite a few mums are going through the same or similar feelings. Um, it's something that will go with help. Um, it's something not to ignore. And don't be ashamed to talk about it or feel embarrassed about talking about it because, like I say, there's probably many other people in the same boat as you. Um, and I find that by talking about it, it actually sort of releases a weight off your shoulders. It's kind of like, okay, I've got that out now, so I feel a lot, be I feel a lot better. Um, and sometimes also by having someone to talk to who understands kind of what you're going through. I mean, my husband is amazing. Um, he's really, really good. But at the same time, because he's never been in this position, he doesn't fully understand how I feel. Um, but some of the tips that I found for helping me, especially through this time, is... Um, by making notes, so I'm a very organised person. Um, I find that if I'm not in control or I'm late, then I get really anxious. So I have to make notes of everything. Um, as silly as that may sound, it helps me, that's what works for me. Um, also, I find like breathing techniques. So um, you breathe in for the count of seven and then breathe out for the count of 11. Um, so when you're in that state of panic, by doing those breathing techniques, it helps to slow your breathing down, helps to calm you down and helps you to think and do, um, helps you to think and take a step back and kind of assess the situation and think, is there a reason why I need to panic? Is there a reason why I need to get worked up? Um, and then it just helps to try and calm you down um, I also find that by having something like a comfort, um, so I have like a, a blanket um, and if I get really anxious I sit on the sofa with the blanket, um, read a book or just watch telly or something just to take my mind off it. But because the blanket is like a comfort it helps to calm you down, helps you to relax a little bit um, and yeah it's really really good. Um, so yeah, like I said, I thought I'd do this video just to discuss my story, um, some tips that I find helpful for helping me. There's probably other people that are going through a similar thing like yourselves or me. Um, and I just think that, you know, it's something to talk about and something to not hide away and feel ashamed or embarrassed about. Um, so yeah, um, I'm no expert, but I just thought I'd share some of my tips and some advice and just raise a bit of awareness about depression and anxiety. Um, so I hope you like this video. Um, so I hope you liked this video um, and I will see you soon. Bye guys.